This is John 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Kal halal Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rekwakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutations, the brother on down, teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune into these video epistles. Just two words on my mind. I woke up this morning in my spirit mercy and truth. So that's what we're calling the lesson mercy and truth. See this devil in the earth, this so called white man, the Edomite. Through him, the whole world, he's been pushing his version of our book so he's been going around with our book in his hand and also the bible it's it's everywhere distributed freely i remember some years back i don't know if they still do it even in hotels you'd get this little book you'd open the 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 side table next to the bed in any hotel and you see i think it presented by gideon or something like that and you'd get it so it, it and nowadays it's even freely downloaded to your phone so Most High, whose name is Yahweh, his only begotten Son, is Yahweh Shai, as our Savior, Redeemer, and High Priest in the heavens, as our champion. In his infinite mercy, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he unlocked the mind. Just, just stop to think about this for a moment. I was meditating on it just before getting up. So everyone's got this book, but they don't know the truth. Their mind is locked and so they're on most high. He's just so brilliant. You just don't have the word sometimes. Like they, they've got the book in their hand, but they're blocked from the truth. The angels are doing a job on them. So they can't come to the truth, even when it's presented to them in its purest form. They want to fight. They're shouting. They're wriggling. They were squirming. They want to do anything against the truth, even with the book in their hand, let alone all the people who have some other uh, religion. And so it's incredible when you think that the minds, that's why we should be so humble and fearful of our power, because your pure mind, as it says in uh, is it Peter, and I know it's in Jude, where the minds of the hopeful elect have been unlocked to learn of the truth, and then when they learn it, to accept that this is the truth. So let's get back straight to the, let's get straight back to this um, scripture here, because it, the sifting is taking place. It's in front of your face, you can see. It's happening. And this sifting is a, puts you on the, the path to immortality. Let's get back to Yahweh Shai speaking to these Jews here. And they're all back in their lot. Let's go straight back to it. John 8 and verse 30. Let's start 31. Then said Yahweh Shai to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And they answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage. See, these people, they didn't seem to be on a really low level. The most high speaking of spiritual thing, they seem to be locked and stuck in a, a carnal mentality. This is what they're saying to him. And we were never in bondage. They're talking about being uh, physical uh, slavery to any man. How says though, ye shall be made free? Yahweh Shai answered them, Verily, verily, as truly, truly I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the son abideth for ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. See, he's speaking in a spiritual sense. These people are not like what these or brothers got, they're low level niggers. They just can't get it. They're carnal minded. They're talking about on the, this kind of physical bondage. What are you, how is I speaking about spiritually? You're following after the devil. And so his truth has no place in you. They're following him around only to try to trap him up in his words. And when they hear the truth, they can't accept it. They're blocked from this truth. So I just built a lesson on this, these two words here. 
mercy and truth which was in my spirit so we're just going to bang away at these two words here and especially in the psalms we've got a few verses here in the psalm psalms 25 let's start at 9 and 10 the meek will he guide in judgment and the meek will he teach his way all the paths of the lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. Why, for thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. We're just gonna keep it moving through these. Psalm 57, three and four. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. The most high shall send forth his mercy and his truth, these two twinned together, his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. See, deceit and lies is what is running this earth, and this devil, a white man in the earth, in the scripture, he's Esau, Edom. He's made up all these words. He's changing all the, uh, uh, the people's nationalities, giving them colors for nationality. It's all nonsense. In the scripture, he's Esau, Edom, the Edomite, the devil that is in the scriptures. And we are the true children of Israel, calling us Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the dispersed, the diaspora, whatever you look like. It's whether you trace your seed line through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's the spirit that bears witness, not colors. You could look like anyone and yet still be a Hebrew Israelite. It's to the seed of your father. That's who we are. We're all the seed of our father. It's all foolishness that this man's been peddling. He's got our book in his hand. So he's managed to trick and deceive the whole world with his mad philosophies. Psalm um, 69. Let's go from 12 to 14. They that sit in the gate speak against me. And I was the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time, O power, in the multitude of the mercy Hear of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. That's our prayer. We come in all humility, not puffed up, strutting around. We know everything. No, we're not in that spirit. Lest we get be destroyed psalm 85 let's go from seven show us thy mercy O lord whose name is yahweh and grant us thy salvation i will hear what the what the most high the lord will speak for he will speak peace unto his people it's not everyone who is he speaking about unto his saints who are hebrew israelites but let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh unto them that fear him. That glory may dwell in our land. And listen to verse 10. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Oh yes. That's our prayers this morning, mercy and truth. Psalm 89, I'm going to go from 14 to 18. Justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. How do you get to know that sound? How do you get to dance to that tune that is being sung right now by the preachers and teachers? Your mind has to be unlocked. You have to be of the hopeful elect. And when you hear it, you cling to it. Our Savior said, my sheep know my voice. I was listening to a brother yesterday. who was doing a lesson. I was totally gripped. With Mary and Martha, we know the story so well. Well, and the, their sisters, I believe their sisters, and one of them was busying up themselves with all serving drinks and doing everything, and she wanted to know why the master don't tell this, the, the, the sister 
to come and help. But that sister was listening, lapping up every word of our Savior. She won't move from his feet. And that's where we want to be. Stuck to the truth. We don't want, to, don't want anyone to get us away from the truth. Where were we? Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of thy countenance. In thy name, the name that they despise. His name is Yahweh. Bahashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai, that's our savior and redeemer. Don't forget that. In thy name shall they rejoice all the day. And in thy righteousness shall they be exalted. For thou art the glory of their strength. And in thy favor, our horn, that's our strength, shall be exalted for the lord is our defense and the holy one of israel our king we're not ashamed of our king the spirit of fear has been removed from us of this man and all of his mad schemes that he's got what man it's the current rulership of the earth it's the edomites they're in current charge uh, job 9 24 tells us he's got rulership of the earth and what's he peddling all kind of madness psalms 98 let's go from one to three oh sing unto the lord a new song that's that new sound who can hear it who can grip hold of it like the sister in the story there won't move from the feet for he had done marvelous things his right hand who is yahweh shine his holy arm hath gotten him the victory. The Lord hath made known his salvation. His righteousness hath he openly showed in the sight of the heathen, and they can do nothing about it. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. That's right, not the whole world. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. Let's read this again. This is Psalms 98, verse 3. Well, let's start at 2. The Lord had made known his salvation. His righteousness had he openly showed in the sight of the heathen. They're all running around with our book in their hand, but the truth, their mind is locked up. They haven't received the truth. It's not for them. Some of them are, are shooting the Bible. They're burning the pages. They're using it to make a, a cigarettes and, and all kind of madness that they're doing. All kind of abominations against this truth. His righteousness has he openly showed in the sight of the heathen, and they're furious. He has remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our power. Oh, yes. Mercy and truth. Psalms 115. 1 to 3 again, not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. We're not looking to be puffed up. That is a part of destruction and making mockery of those with this word. Your best bet is to walk away. Just leave it alone if it's not for you. The mockery. We know it's a part of this journey. Not unto us. This is a psalm of David. Not unto us, O oh Lord. Not unto us, but unto thy name give glory. His name is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Therefore, should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our power is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he hath pleased. You can't do anything about it. Let's get. One here in Micah, before we wrap it up. Micah 7, let's go from 16. The nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. They shall lay their hand upon their mouth. Their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God, Yahweh, our power, and shall fear because of thee. Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? 
Who's that speaking about? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighted in mercy to his people, his heritage, his inheritance, his saints. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth. To who? To Jacob. That's who we are, the remnant and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. They think we're forgotten. They think we've been pushed to the side forever. But they got that wrong. Let's get our last scripture here, Wisdom of Solomon. In the Apocrypha, let's start from one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. We're getting to the end of this brutal slavery. And this man's kingdom, what man? This so-called white man, he's red. That's what Eda means. Take a good look at him. He has leprosy. The melanin has been removed from his skin. He is the curse of the earth. It's all over the scriptures. Can you see? In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken from misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction. But they are in peace, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. You don't know what you're dealing with. You put your hands on the wrong people, the apple of his eye. Let's go, verse five. And having, let's read four again. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope, which is to his mercy and truth, full of mercy, full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself, as gold is in the furnace, hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. I get so excited, I'm mixing up my words here. Verse 7, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. It's not going to be equality. Supremacy is what we're talking about. That's what's to come. The rest of the earth, they're not going to be immortal like us. That's what they're fighting against. They're trying to do it all on the left-hand side with their artificial intelligence. Well, the Most High is going to send his son back and the angel to destroy all of this man's his crazy schemes. They shall judge the nation and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. Verse 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints who are Hebrew Israelites. And he hath care for his elect. All praises to our power. Yahweh Hashem. Yahweh Shai. We listen to mercy and truth. Shalom to the next one.